What up guys, J Pops in the house. Today, we are going to be going through some of the least expensive pops in my collection. All right guys, so I put together this list. I actually just went through the list. 10 of the least expensive pops in the collection. Let's start with number 10. All right, so starting this list off at number 10, we have a fairly new pop. It is Grandpa Simpson. Grandpa Simpson coming in valued at six dollars. How? This is a super cool pop. It's the Simpsons. He's a classic Simpsons character. Grandpa Simpson is the coolest looking one. Well, maybe not the coolest looking one. He's got the classic Abe Simpson. I think that was his first name, right? Abe. Everybody just called him Grandpa Simpson. But he's got like his slippers on and the sweater. The glasses look pretty cool. If you guys have the older Simpsons, like Homer, Marge, Bart, I think that was it, right? There was only like three of them or something. But he's one of those characters that are just one of the older ones, like Lisa and Maggie. I think he should be valued way more than six dollars. I mean, he is a common pop, but so are the older Simpson pops. So I think this will go up eventually later down the road. Moving on, in our number nine spot, we have Huey from DuckTales. He comes in valued at six dollars. And how is Huey valued at six dollars and none of the other ones? They're not even like close to the, I don't know actually what they are, but I think they're not even like eight, nine dollars. They're probably a little more. Dewey is valued at ten and Louie is valued at eleven. So not too far off, but Huey, I think he was one of the most popular ones, even though they're kind of all popular, but Huey I wouldn't see as six bucks, but he's at six dollars. I actually have him because I thought he was really cool looking, and I also have the mystery minis of Huey, or just one mystery mini, um, and I thought he was pretty cool for the Kingdom Hearts collection. This is a very cool pop. He's got his little red hat. I think they all have the same, like the hat, just different colors, like green and blue. Huey has his arms crossed, and I think Dewey, well I have it right here, Louie has like his hands crossed, and Dewey I think has his hands on like his hips, but they are really awesome. Scrooge McDuck is actually valued, I think at like 20 bucks or something like that. But Huey takes the number nine spot, six bucks. All right, moving on to our number eight spot. We have, this is just disrespectful, Goofy from Kingdom Hearts. The GameStop exclusive one in his Kingdom gear, nonetheless. I just don't understand how this is valued at six dollars. Oh! Look at this pop. Everything about it is really awesome. He's got like his knight armor on. The sculpt and paint to it is just really cool. The paint is actually really on point. And this is a pop, I think, from 2017? Uh, yeah. And the paint is just on point. The left arm is designed differently. I think this is just a really awesome pop. Even if you didn't like the Kingdom, or if you don't know the Kingdom Hearts game, you would still like this pop goofy. It's just a really awesome looking pop. I think this should be valued a little higher than six dollars actually like much higher than six dollars but goofy takes the number eight spot <laughs> all right so moving on to our number seven spot we actually have a disney character technically i just had like two disney characters it's elephant abu how i don't understand i don't understand a lot of these pops on this list this is such a cool pop actually this one released with the new aladdin wave um iago was one of those genie was another um but this is super cool i have the abu the regular one or the flock the, the hot topic one but regular abu right over there and elephant abu is just a super awesome looking pop he's cute and everything nothing crazy like about his sculpt or anything you know he's just basically like an elephant but it's valued at six bucks which is crazy because if you're trying to sh uh, sell this, shipping would literally cost probably $6 for this guy. He weighs like 12 ounces, but I think he is awesome looking. It should be valued higher than six bucks at least. All right, moving on to our number six spot. We have Frozone. Where you going ASAP? You better be back ASAP. A very popular pop, When the Incredibles line released wave should i say it was the second wave because well i guess you would i don't know if the second wave or not but we have the original incredible pops out there already like mr incredible and elastigirl and edna and those pops are actually valued way higher so the ones like elastigirl and mr incredible these will not be valued anywhere near what those pops are and those pops have actually declined in value um why is he so dusty 
But anyway, Frozone, very cool sculpt and everything to this. You know how he shoots the ice out of his hand, so you got the sculpt there under his, his hand and everything, and he's sliding on, I think it's the trash can lid, because this was supposed to be from the first movie. Um, I believe this that's what it is, that he has like a, like a lid or something. Uh, but this is so cool. The ice is white. They could have made it a little like bluish, maybe, like translucent and blue, kind of. But it's a very neat looking pop, especially for the Incredibles wave. All right, moving on to our number five spot. This one is actually pretty crazy. It's Genie from Aladdin. Now this is the specialty series Genie, which means it glows in the dark. I don't understand how this is valued at five bucks. Five dollars, this is what this is valued at. This is a really cool looking pop. I mean, there are a lot of Genies out there. The original Genies, you know, the metallic one, and then they have the live action Genies, and then they have mystery minis of Genie. Um, so there is a lot of genies out there. The common one, which looks just like this, you know, with the lamp and- Whoa, whoa, he was almost valued at $4 right there. But the common one who has- is pretty much the same sculpt, it just doesn't glow in the dark, you know, with the lamp and everything to it, is valued at, I think, like, 7 bucks. It's a little higher than this one. I think it's a mistake. I think they should be swapped, if anything. But, um, very cool pop. The whole sculpt and everything, Genie's like, you know, on his way out of the lamp. He's got the Genie smile and everything. And it glows really well in the dark. It's actually very bright. But I think this is a really awesome pop, and um, anyway, he takes the number five spot. Coming in at number four, we have a DC character, Lex Luthor, from Smallville. He's valued at five bucks. I guess I can see that for this character. Um, he's still pretty cool looking. He's got the white suit, he's got the gun and everything, he's got the black glove. He's a very simple character. He was a common pop, and... How many Lex Luthor Pops do they have out there? I'm not sure if they have a lot. Do they have a lot, guys? Oh wow. There's only like him and the Legion of Collectors Lex Luthor, so he should probably be valued a bit higher. Even though it's not like DC Comics, so maybe that's why, but he does look like Lex Luthor from the comics. But it's very cool, very cool pop, especially for the Smallville collection. Taking the number three spot, we have another Disney character, back to Disney, Elastigirl. She is valued at five dollars. Now she looks very similar to the original Elastigirl, which is probably why, you know, it didn't do so well as far as value or anything. She doesn't stand the best either because her feet are so small and the head is just so big. She's like disproportionate here and she kind of like leans back and everything, even on the base. But she's a very cool pop as well. The whole Incredibles wave is pretty cool. I have like the whole set right there. I think it's actually really awesome. And I don't have the original one, so I think this one is actually pretty cool. She's not worth much, but I like it. In at our number two spot, this one, another disrespectful one. This is just crazy. This one is valued at five dollars. We have Quail Dog. How is Quail Dog worth five bucks? And you know what's funny? Quail Man is not worth five dollars. Like, he's valued a little higher. Interesting. But it's a super cool pop. I actually, you know, it's funny. I actually like the common one a little better because I just see pork chop more when I think of Doug and Doug funny and all that. I just see like regular pork chop. And he's valued more than Quail Dog. This is crazy. I just don't understand that. Anyway, we got Quail Dog. Still a really cool pop. Very detailed looking. He's got like the belt and everything and the cape. He's supposed to be like, you know, a superhero. Very classic and nostalgic. Cool for like the Disney collection. Well, Nickelodeon collection. It says Disney on the box, but this was a Nickelodeon show and everything. Just off the sheer sculpt to this, I think it should be valued way more. And last but not least, taking the number one spot, another Disney character, Doc, from the Seven Dwarfs. Hi ho, it's home from work we go. Hi ho. He is valued at four dollars. Crazy how I think the Seven Dwarfs should be valued a little higher. Uh, I see a lot of them like valued really low. I mean, there are a lot of pops that released for them because they all were commons, I believe. But we didn't have any other. I am looking this up right now. The only other seven dwarfs, dwarfs out there were like Grumpy, I believe. Uh, we had Snow White, like from before the original wave. So it's not like they can say, oh, they're valued lower because there are so many other ones that released prior to that. So I think the seven dwarfs should be valued a bit higher. And who knows, eventually they probably will all increase just because they're classic characters from Disney and everything. But I think this pop is really cool. He's got his glasses, his little dwarf feet, the hat and everything. Very cool and classic for Disney. Now these pops, they're not worth much, but I like them. 
I'm gonna be keeping them. It's just funny to see how some pops, how they just decline in value. Uh, and then they shoot back up. That's a whole nother story. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what your list is of the cheapest pops that you have, least expensive pops. I'm signing off. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Yes! He's a la lambo, she's a la lambo! <laughs> <laughs>